Hello viewers, reporting for NewsZimbabwe.com, I am Makamaka Masenyama. Zimbabwe security commanders have admitted deploying armed troops into Harare CBD, even ordering them to shoot warning shots, but denied any of their officers shot directly at six civilians who were killed in the August 1 post-election violence. Speaking while giving oral evidence before the Halema Moshante chaired commission of inquiry into the disturbances, Zimbabwe Defense Forces Commander Philip Valerio Sibanda said the death of civilians and the injuring of more may have been caused by ordinary Zimbabweans who were armed or by business persons within the central Harare who were trying to protect their wealth from groups of looters. Sibanda further said the army was not the only armed group among the country's security forces on the day in question. The country's most powerful soldier said the army was a disciplined force that could not open fire at anyone except when they were attacked by the enemy. As soldiers, we operate on orders. And the orders given on that day were very clear. You do not open fire on the Iota. So um, if there is anyone with evidence to the effect that any one of these six and the injured would have been shot by soldiers. If they would bring that forward, I'm aware that there were reporters who were following the troops when they went into town, once they were going into town. And um, if there's anyone with that evidence, they would bring it forward. But certainly from where I sit, I don't believe that any of the soldiers would be fired. Yes, they fired in the air, but I don't believe anybody fired at, I mean, aimed shots at him. I don't believe so. Earlier on, Commander of the Presidential Guard, Brigadier General Anselm Sanyatwe, who said he was tasked to deploy the National Reaction Force, which comprised the Police Support Unit, the ZDF, and the CIO, said his charges only fired shots in the air and not at all at civilians. He further said on the day in question, he deployed 62 soldiers plus 16 support unit operatives to help quell the violence that had engulfed the CBD. Both military bosses also suggested the MDC militant youth group, commonly known as the Vanguard, may have played a part in the shootings. The opposition wanted to drag in the military in order to escalate their campaign or their cause. The hardcore group was passed from Kwanzaa into the CBD. Who are these hardcore? What is the hardcore group? The hardcore? Hardcore group. If I am to answer for them, it is their military wing. <laughs> Who's military? Who's military? The opposition military wing. The militant, rather. The DRCs, the Democratic Resistance Committees. So if you can, can I go on? Yeah. Now the Vanga. On his part, Police Commissioner General Godwin Matanga admitted he requested for army reinforcements when it turned out his charges were getting overwhelmed by protests in the city center. Matanga said if at all his charges used arms on civilians, then the outcome would have been a massacre as opposed to six people dying. I still believe that minimum force was used because I know that our Zimbabwe Defense Forces are armed with AKs. If those arms were carelessly used, I can assure you we could have counted thousand bodies in Harare Central. A junior police officer from the Police Protection Unit, Constable Julius Mashonganyika, said he was forced to fire 25 warning shots in the air to try and repel an angry crowd that was charging at him when he was performing some guard duties at the ZANU PF provincial headquarters within the city center. The Commission of Inquiry into the Disturbances continue hearing more testimonies this Tuesday when more of army officers will testify. Reporting for NewsZibaku.com, I am Makanaka Masenyama. For this and more stories, do visit our website www.newsibaku.com.